guys can see me. Okay. Um, so I want to talk to you guys about a topic about Walmart. And I want to tell you guys that yesterday I went to Walmart with, with one of my friends. And I decided to, I decided to return I don't have the Pokemon deck box, but something similar like this. And this is in this is in PA. And I don't know if they do it at every Walmart, but it looked like that there was a guy. He probably was new. I'm not sure. And the lady, she looked like like she was a manager or something. I'm not sure. But she kept like coming at him and stuff like that when um when he was doing the return with me and I didn't have a receipt and I I brought a couple of these Pokemon deck boxes without a receipt and um I brought a, a movie back. And I was telling my friend about um, that my sister bought all this stuff for me, and she bought it for Christmas, and I just kept going and going. Um, I don't know if they heard me or not, but um, the lady right next to me, she was like, oh, don't say too much because of this and that would happen. I don't know. I'm like, even if I'm saying even if I'm saying this and that, why would, wouldn't they, you know, take my stuff as a return, to return without a receipt? So, when they take my deck, deck box, this is the first time, because I've done a lot of returns without receipts. They were doing this, looking inside, this, that, 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 checking everything like the deck is only what 10 13 dollars seriously you have to do all that it's sealed you really have to do all that and then with the dvd they didn't do much just take because they had like another cover on top they took the cover from the top off and they didn't do a lot of expect inspection i think they scanned it I remembered and the decks they they scan I think like two or three of them but then one of them one of them I don't know she didn't scan she gave it back to me because she said that it's over 50 and the second one has some kind of like I don't know like I don't know it has some kind of stuff on it and she didn't want to scan it and she gave it back to me and then like five Five minutes later, you could say something like that. She went and said, she mentioned about the deck that had the stuff on there. She went and said, oh, I'm not scared of that one because I don't know, something must have been put on there and this and that. But I'm just making this video to let you guys know what I experienced at a Walmart because I've done returns with receipt and without receipt and I never had a, a regular worker or a regular worker be on top of a manager of a low receipt return like that as crazy as I witnessed it was witnessed it yesterday and I never saw uh, a manager or co-worker do do this do that this and that see that everything is perfectly in there I don't I don't know what she was doing but just letting you guys know so you have to go through 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 the um, things that I went through and so um, after when that was done they asked me a lot of questions like when did I buy it um where did I buy it and so on and so forth 
and I already explained myself a bunch of times. Really, you don't really have to explain yourself because a lot of places don't really like ask you or you have to tell them like a whole story. I already said it the first time my sister bought it. I don't know what day it was. I already asked her like three times where the receipt is at. She said that she had it. She told me a bunch of times that she had it and then come to find out. She told me she didn't have it, so I decided to bring it to Walmart without a receipt. And they did all that to me, what I was just talking about right now, what she did with the deck and stuff with the movie. She didn't do much with it and then asked me a lot of questions just for um, $47 in credit. So um, after when I was done, the guy gave me a little slip and the little slip said $47 and some change. And he doesn't give me a receipt of, like, how much, you know, I got and stuff. So, I kind of, like, raised my voice. And I was, like, I told him two or three times. I was, like, how how much was that movie? Because my sister gave me that movie. I want to know how much it is. So, I guess he looked it up or scanned it or something. He told me that it was $5. And I was, like, okay. So, I left. So, once I got that done, I went to the back to grab this. A PlayStation Classic. I bought, so, after when I was looking around, I saw one of these that were in a shopping cart, and I told the girl that I wanted to buy it, and then she went and picked it up, and she was about to um, scan it for me so I can buy it, but she had, like, other buyers on top of it, so she gave it to some other lady, and I told the lady that I was going to buy this garbage right here for my collection and not open it. And I asked her why was this PlayStation Classic in a shopping cart. And if she gonna tell me she, she gonna tell me I think that it was a return or something like that. So like like they were in, expect doing an expect expectation whatever with my um with the with this deck right here. What I had her do was to check the box for me. To see if it wasn't open or used or anything like that. So what they do to me, I did it to them. So she expect she looked she looked at the box and everything. And after she got done, I asked her if she could go get grab me a new one because I don't want the one that was in the shopping cart because I don't know I don't know why I was in the shopping cart. So anyways, yeah, that's my story right there. Other than that, I can just tell you that after I bought this, I ended up returning it at the same Walmart just to go to another Walmart to get it for like 6% less because the um, the tax, the tax there is cheaper. So um, when I got there, the two decks that they, they, they didn't want to grab as a return, I, I went in line there. And some lady had a phone that she, she like scanned the two ducks and she gave me a sticker. So, um, I asked, uh, I asked the lady that was in the register that if I had to, um, give her like both of the ducks, she was like, yeah, yes, you can if you want to. And I was like, okay, because I'm returning this. She scanned both of them and, and it was fine. She took them and she gave me, she gave me, um, in store credit and stuff, but then I had more questions on top of that. I asked her in order to get three strikes because you have to, um, if you get three strikes, you can't return for like a year without a receipt. So, um, yeah, but, um, I asked her if, um, if you go like over 50 three times, that's when you get the strikes, or it's just like you. You return one item and it's like ten dollars. You get your first strike. You return another one for ten dollars. You get your second strike. The third one for ten dollars. You know, you get a, you get another strike, and that's it. That's that's only thirty dollars. You haven't went over fifty. So she asked the lady right next to her, and she the lady went and said, "I don't know," and then she's gonna tell me. That lady do know. That lady right there, she do know. She just don't want to say. So Walmart be having all this, all this stuff. I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys. So um, so when you go to Walmart, 
and be ready if you're going to return without a receipt because look at all this that I went through. Even if you ask questions, it's a problem. They got like schemes and a whole bunch of stuff secretly that they don't want to tell you. And there was another thing that I wasn't going to say. Um, when you're about to leave Walmart, there's people wearing like yellow vests and stuff like that. I was going to tell you guys that um, those people there, I saw a lot of videos on YouTube. They said that um, you're not really supposed to show your receipts to them and stuff like that. That I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but you guys have to look it up on YouTube or look it up online or something. Or Google, I don't know. Check on that. So sometimes I give my receipts to the worker just so I will have I will go into fights and stuff like that. But sometimes I try to like ignore them and like just walk away and not show them the receipt because it's not required for you to show the receipt. I've seen a lot of people showing receipts to workers and stuff like that, and that's not required. And another thing I want to say is that um one time when I went to to the Aramingo um Walmart. This this guy that was at the door wanted to um see a, the receipt of one of my friends that was bringing a t shirt without a receipt and stuff like that, but he didn't buy it from there. He bought it from another place, and this guy said something to him. I don't know if it was an undercover, or whatever he was, and then I said something to him, and then he was like, because I was defending my friends, my friends, and then he said something back to me, and then looked like that. He was like threatening me to like maybe jump me or hit me or something like that. And I wish he did. And I, I called the manager. I asked the manager, this is how you hire people. You hire people that will um, try to um, stop you when you're not even shopping at Walmart. You just went to the return and try to exit. And then this guy try to, um, try to be on you or something like that. It's not right. Whatever he did was not right, so watch out with that. There's a lot of undercover guys at Walmart and stuff like that. So, if you guys have any questions about any, like, Walmart stuff, I have a lot of experience with Walmart, and I can tell you my experiences at um, Walmart. Thanks for watching.